Right, out here for uh, about an hour or so. Farmer's actually uh, seeding this field, so I'm in the spots where he's not seeded yet, and uh, I've just dug, uh, just dug. It's probably my first copper coin out of this field ever. All right, let me take that back. I've dug a denger out of here, but this is my first, uh, I think, early Georgian. So that's cool. I'll take it. See what else we can find. Time short. I think I've got maybe an hour or so. All right, and now I've just dug my second copper. It doesn't look like it's. Uh, yeah, it looks like it's a. Uh, it's a coin. Got to be early Georgian. I'm gonna say probably George the first. Might have a design on it. Something on that side. I don't know. Could be a button, but it's looking like a coin to me. Cool. I'll take it. Okay, now I've just dug a flat button. Missing the shank. See the silver wash on it. I'll be in the back. Let's see where the shank would have been. Okay, let's keep going. All right, now I just dug a folded up piece of lead. I know my buddy PF will be like going, oh, don't unfold it. It might be a Roman curse. Yeah, we'll take it home and see what's on it. Okay, just dug a uh, concave button. It's got gilt on the back inside the dirt there. And it does have lettering on it. It's got a design on it, something on it. But I can't tell what it is. I can't tell if it's numbers, letters, whatever. So, just have to wait till we get home. And I got myself another piece of blue pottery. Probably from the late 18th, early 19th century. Very cool. Love finding this stuff out here. Okay, so a little recap here. Uh, again, I spared you all the 303 cartridges and all that stuff. That's just, yeah, that went in the trash. Uh, looks like I got a uh, small lock. Now, this lock here actually may have come off something like one of these safes. It's that small, and I should have done some prior planning on this. If you'll excuse me real quick and here we go see here's the lock on this one and it's not too dissimilar I'd say came off something small like this uh, this lock this little mini safe or whatever you. so this one's actually one that I was given by Alex down at the local pub and it's to, uh, with compliments of the Burkle Auto Scale Company Limited 50 Holborn Viaduct London EC1. On the back it says, it pays to save. Very nice. <coughs> uh, I used to say they're not around anymore and they made uh, scales and what have you. So, well, that's cool. That will, uh, that will look good somewhere on a shelf. So, anyway, uh, so recap. Got the lock. Got that folded piece of lead. Uh, PF will be glad to know there was nothing written on the inside. Uh, three more of the uh, striker springs from hand grenades. Uh, in fact, here's a hand grenade base. This actually says Mark V number one Mills bomb on it. This is actually First World War. That one's First World War. I found a number of those and the dates are all around the First World War. So obviously these were getting tossed first during practice to clear the stock and then they moved on to the uh, the uh, number 36 uh, mark ones and such uh, another piece of pottery like we saw out there uh, two coins uh, I, I suspect that they're both around George the first George the second just based off the fact that you can barely see anything on them and they're thin and then I've uh, got a, the flat button with some silver wash on the front. And then my uh, nice uh, crown button right there. So all in all, not a bad hunt for an hour. Uh, like I said, I spared you all the 303s that I was digging. 
and uh, can slaw and stuff like that. So uh, uh, appreciate you coming along, and uh, hopefully the next couple of days either be some metal detecting or digging in a Victorian dump, which should be kind of interesting. I uh, had somebody ask if I was going to be doing any uh, mudlarking this trip, and alas, no. Uh, obligations with my parents uh, long in advance, negated that this time. But uh, that will come along the next trip I come out here to good old Merry England. So anyway, uh, appreciate you coming along, and uh, we'll talk to you soon. Happy hunting, and good luck.